Today on Be Something Wonderful, how to persist in the state of manifesting everything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back and good morning from the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video for you today. I don't know where to start. So many wonderful sessions yesterday, all sort of related in this idea that one of them was even talking about being in the manifesting sweet spot, which I've talked about. But it, and, and others were talking about the idea of persisting and finally understanding what it means to persist in the state of wish fulfilled. And this particular client was saying, you know, Tom, I'm, I'm, I'm in that state now of manifesting everything. In other words, things just unfolding. She has a thought or an intent and it unfolds, right? This is the idea. So I, I, wanna, I wanna unpack some of the ideas that we talked about. This whole idea that she finally got that, she, she goes, I had it all wrong about persisting in the state of wish fulfilled. I thought it was about trying to hold on to some sort of thought or emotion of, of this idea of feeling fulfilled, right? That temporary emotion or feeling of fulfillment. But again, we've talked about this in videos that it's not about holding on to any temporary thoughts and feelings of fulfillment. It's about accepting with conviction that you're already that person you want to be. It's resting in that I amness, that conviction of who you are. It's accepting that you, as Neville Goddard said, it's not about emotion. He goes, I don't, when I talk about feeling, I don't mean emotion. I mean the acceptance that you're already that person that you, that you desire to be. So, and, and it got, and we were talking about this idea. She goes, that when I, in videos, I talked about this idea of here I am, right? When God was calling out to Moses, 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 Moses said, here I am. That's the only question ever. Who are you, where are you, and when are you? Because it's all right now. You are that one awareness, you are that one reality, and you exist here and now. Everything you could possibly imagine to be and have exists as reality here and now, or it doesn't exist at all, and non-existence is impossible. Non-existence, by definition, doesn't exist. So everything you could possibly imagine desire and want exists here and now or not at all. And non-existence is not possible. So it's all yours now for you simply imagining it, desiring it, wanting it, puts it there, means it exists, means it's your, it means it's yours. So persistence and living in the end is not a means to an end to manifest something. She really got this idea, but rather it's the end itself. It's the beginning, it's the middle and the end. It's everything. Persistence is not about, it's not about living in some end of fulfillment as a means to manifest something. It's the end itself. It's the beginning, it's the middle, and it's the end, right? To persist is to exist as the one and only source of all that you desire. I am, here I am. To persist is to exist as that one and only source right? It, the, I am is your persistent identity as the truth of reality. That's what it means to persist. It's not about trying to hold on to a temporary thought or feeling. It's to, it's to accept the conviction, accept the awareness of who you really are, to be more aware of who you really are. That's powerful. So let's hit it. Manifesting Things, shifting identities, and creating realities begins and ends in the end. Go to the end of what you want. Go to the end knowing you are all things. That's what the whole meaning of creation is finished means. It's all done, right? You get to experience that unfolding of that as a physical experience. Know yourself, contemplate yourself as that source, as a physical 3D experience. What is the end then? If it begins and ends in the end, what is the end? The, it is the state of love, gratitude, and fulfillment. It's natural. It's your nature. It's I am. It's unconditional. 
That's the end. There are no conditions on anything that you desire. It's unconditional. That's the end. It doesn't come and go. It's not about maintaining a state of wish fulfilled. It's not about being in it and then being out of it as some of you described. You don't move to it. You are it. You are that state. Do you see that? That's why you go to the end of anything you want because it's already there. You're already that. That love and gratitude and fulfillment is your nature. It's your name. It's what's natural. The limits and conditions are how you experience yourself as the beginning and the end, the first and last, the alpha and omega, right? That's the, that middle is how you experience it. Those limits and conditions that, fit, that we call the messy middle are how you experience reality. How else would you know that you're that one source? That's powerful. So beginning at the end, hear this, beginning at the end and staying there makes linear time and non-fulfillment irrelevant. I am is your natural state of fulfillment. That state of unconditional love and gratitude, love for life, gratitude that you exist and will always exist. That's who you are, an appreciation for everything as source. Whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. That's powerful. This is what Jesus said. And remember, will here is, a modal, is used as a modal verb to express absolute certainty. Absolute, it, it is absolute. It is done, in other words. Where linear time and non-fulfillment is irrelevant. That's what Jesus said. That I will do. In other words, there's no question. There's no chance of non-fulfillment. It's certain. It's absolute. Or linear time is irrelevant. Non-fulfillment doesn't exist. Ask in my name. What's your name? It's I am. That I am awareness. God to Moses. I am that I am. That's my name forever and ever. That's your name. That it, so you're asking in your nature, in your natural state of love, in your natural state of gratitude, in your natural state of fulfillment. That's what it means to ask in my name. Asking gratitude. So you're not really asking at all. Do you see it? You're, you're, you're being it. You're declaring who you are. You're declaring that reality is done. But ask in my name, in other words, I am already that I desire to be. That's the asking. It's declaring it. It's, a it's an announcement of reality. That's what it means to ask in my name. My name, what's my name? I am. So how do you ask in my name? You state it, I am that I am. I am who and what I imagine, assume, and desire myself to be. I am what I affirm myself to be. I, I am all of it. Ask with that in that nature, in my name means in that unconditional love and gratitude for life as life, as the one and only reality. The state of wish fulfilled and living in the end is natural. It's your name. It's who you are. Wow. Powerful. So again, showing you this idea of the horizontal linear experience and the vertical. But what do we do as we're in this frame of reality, having this 3D linear physical experience? We have these assumptions or thoughts about the past. I was in wish fulfilled, nothing happened. I've been persisting, I, I have been persisting, but nothing has happened. Past, past, pre, past perfect or present perfect, I have been persisting, but nothing has happened. And what we believe is the present moment. We use the present moment as a placeholder, right? I have, I'm still persisting and nothing is happening. Do you see it? We, we, this is what's going on. Remember, none of these are facts. We're creating these realities right now. You're creating that past past that I was in wish fulfilled, but nothing has happened. I have been persisting, nothing has happened that present perfect state of the past. And then in your present moment, I'm still persisting and nothing is happening. You're creating all of those realities right now. How do you know? You don't know that you were in a wish fulfilled and nothing happened. You don't know that you've been persisting and nothing has happened. You only know who and what you're identifying with right now. What you're remembering right now, you're creating it. There is no past that's there, that, are, that is a fact that exists. You create those past experiences of not being, of being in, believing you are in wish fulfilled and nothing happening right now. 
you create that idea as a placeholder in the present moment that you're still persisting as nothing's happening and you create a future of nothing happening. It's all created from this present moment, from what you identify with, because you're, in the, you're identifying as that horizontal experience, as that linear experience, as that frame that seems so solid and real. Right? You create all experiences of the past, present, and future right now. Right there, right? Right now from who you are being, that I amness. Who you really are is changeless. Who you really are is that I am awareness. That gratitude and love, that's who you really are. But we identify, we create these experiences. Remember, it's changing all the time. Of, I've been persisting, but nothing has happened. Or nothing happened. Or still nothing is happening. All of those realities are created. You can't know that what, when you were in a, a different identity, what, that, what was going on. You don't, you're remembering it wrong. You're remembering it differently right? You've always been there. You've always been there. You've always persisted in that gratitude, in that love. Do you see it? You create all experiences of the past, present, future right now from who you're being. Your identity, right? You create, manifest your experience of reality in all time. You're remembering or creating all of it from the present version of you. There are no facts in time. So this present version creates a horizontal past that makes sense to who you're being right now. It creates a horizontal linear future that makes sense of who you're being right now. The past doesn't create anything. It's created from the present moment, from who you're being, from what you're identifying with. The future doesn't, doesn't unfold in time. It's created right now by who you're being. You're creating all of your experiences by this idea that I'm persisting and nothing's happening right? You are remembering or creating all of it from the present version of you. Wow. So trying to maintain and persist in a state of wish fulfilled in linear time, believing if you hold on long enough, your imagined end will manifest in 3D reality, creates an experience of non-fulfillment. That's not what persisting is. That creates realities and identities of I am not that yet. I am not who I desire to be yet. I'm not in the reality that I desire to be yet. And you create that in the past, present, and future right now. You don't know what happened in the past. You only know what you remember right now from this present identity that's identifying with non-fulfillment. Right? So persisting is remembering that fulfillment is natural. It's your nature or name. That's what persisting really means, right? It's not trying to maintain a persist, a, some state of wish fulfilled in linear time, believing that if I hold on long enough, my imagined end will manifest in 3D reality. You create an experience of non-fulfillment, of waiting, but never getting, never being. It creates a reality that I'm not there yet in all time. Do you see it? But persist, what persistence really is, is remembering that fulfillment is natural, that gratitude is natural, that appreciation is natural, that love is your natural state. It's your nature or name, I am. That's how you ask in my name. You declare that you are it, right? It's not a placeholder until something unfolds and manifests in your physical experience. Do you see that? It's not a placeholder using the present moment as a placeholder. And, and not seeing anything happening and hoping that something will happen in the future. Persisting is the continual, perpetual unfolding of fulfillment, love, and gratitude that you are from within, without. It's a, it's a continual state. It's not something you do to get something. You are all things. That's powerful. Persisting, imagining, and affirming, and assuming you're already that which you desire to be is not a means to an end. It is the end. I'm the beginning, the end, the first and last, the Alpha Omega. It's everything. It's the beginning, the middle, and the end. It's living in the end, living in the vertical. Or in, in Abraham Hicks vernacular, get into the vortex. Right? But remember, you are the vortex. You are the vertical. You're all of it. So the delight in your persisting in imagining and your affirming in your processes. 
because you're already that which you desire to be. That's the whole purpose of those processes is to remind you of who you really are, right? To remind you that you're already there. You've already created it. You already are it. That's the purpose of all, but not to create anything. Creation's finished. You're already all things. It's to remember that. That's what persistence means. It, living in the end, I am, is natural. It's your nature. It's reality. Creation is finished. So you're only ever living in the end. You're only ever experiencing it as unfolding in linear, horizontal, physical experience of time, space, and change. Wow. Living in the end, I am, is natural. It's your nature. It's reality. That's what persistence means. That's your persistent that's your persistent identity. That's your real you. Creation is finished. So you're only ever living in the end. Experience, cre experiencing, and experience create, experiencing creation as an unfolding in linear time, in linear experience of time, space, and change. Remember, it unfolds from the vertical as an experience, but it unfolds from within, not out there. Not starting here and, and saying, I got to persist in this horizontal experience where things are not happening, but I got to persist believing they do. It unfolds from within, from already being there. That's powerful. So, so living in the end is natural. It's your nature. Let's hit this. There's no fulfillment out there. Do you see it? There's no fulfillment out there. You can't get there from there. You are fulfillment. It's in the vertical. That's who you are. There's no out there out there. That's why, right? Fulfillment, love and gratitude, appreciation that some call it, doesn't exist apart from your experience of it. In other words, your experience is reality. There, there's no gratitude, love, and state of wish fulfilled that you get to or that you move to. It doesn't exist out there. It, 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 there, it's not a part, there's no set, it's not a part from the experience. So if you're experiencing it, you are it. I am awareness is the real you, fulfillment, love, gratitude, your true nature or name or what's natural. Living in the end and persisting in your wish fulfilled is about remembering or being aware of the real you. No matter what the changing forms and experiences appear to be. All of it is an experience of fulfillment. All of it is an experience of I am. All of it's an experience of the love and gratitude that you are. All of it is. And when you start seeing that, that's all you're going to see. Right? When you want only love, love is all you'll see, as A Course in Miracles says. That's what we're talking about. That's how to persist in the state of manifesting everything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful, for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, for being part of our membership channel. We just released a few days ago big video on the membership channel. You can check that out if you're a member. If you're not, there's a link below if you want to look at that. We also have a live stream, our fourth live stream of the year, our 13th live stream overall, to be broadcast also on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel on April 28th, 2024, the last Sunday of this month at 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to come to you live right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful to talk about your questions and topics that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. I'll also answer questions at the event on the chat, live, <laughs> where we're all together. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.